Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Boogly Boogly video. In this video, as you may have seen from the title, we are going to be seeing how many military defences we can create in Minecraft. So, without further ado, let's get into the world of wacky contraptions and sometimes quite frightening uh, techniques for defence. Let's go! So the first design that I was thinking of creating was a barbed wire fence. And you may wonder how that's possible in Minecraft, but I've had an idea, which I hope will work. Whereas if I use chains, which go across right here, this can be the actual barbed wire fence. Shut up, pick. And then you will have buckets of puffer fish down underneath. You will find out how this all works oh, he's triggering the puff fish you will find out how this works once i've made it so if we place trapdoors actually it'll probably be better if we place them above place them like that and then let's just add another sort of corner thing so you, as you can see it doesn't really look like barbed wire but i guess we can set after so let's just <laughs> Let's just set the world spawn here. Let's just keep inventory just in case we do die when testing out these various defenses, which I'm sure probably will happen. So as you can see, if we try and walk up, we do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We get hit by the puffer fish, and then we are now poisoned. We are. It's, it's an electric thing, so we walk up to it and then. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working. I'll just do a bit of bug fixing, then I'll be back at you. Okay, so update of... I think I found the problem, which is the puffer fish weren't really fitting in those stairs. I think it might have been a bit too small a gap, so I've resorted it to slabs, which hopefully will work after I just place in all of these blocks over here. Get out of the way, you're gonna die now. Die. We go so then if we place the puffer fish actually i haven't done this very well nope so if we fill this in with grass then we can get our puffer fish back um so then if we do this that that didn't work <laughs> that definitely didn't work okay um you can go die now so we have, we have this, place that in, hmm, hmm. so that's placing it, oh, oh okay, <laughs> why is that not placing it over? So I think what we needed was, no water there to begin with, maybe. Yeah, there we go. So now the puffer fish is in that block, so I'll do this with all of them, just like so. Okay, so I have put in all of the puffer fish inside here, as you can see. I think they've all huddled up a bit that end, but oh, that's how did they get out? How'd you get out? Okay, um, oh well, I guess we'll just yeah, <laughs> that happens. Um, I'll just I don't know how that happened, some sort of entity cramming thing. So now, if we put ourselves into survival mode. 
we walk up to it, it will then poison us. Perfect. There we go. So, I guess that's I guess that's how it works. So if we just switch ourselves back to creative, we get a healing potion. Then in theory, just flash ourselves. And then if we try to run through this gate, you will see that the puffer fish hold us back. There is nothing we can do as we try and run through and the puffer fish will eventually kill us. In fact, if we chain rename the puffer fish to barbed wire, that might make an even better effect. Okay, so I think I may have done that now and the barbed wire system should be fully functioning, so let's I'll just copy this over a few more times that way and then we'll we'll see how it turns out. So see you then. Okay, now that shall do. So let's just pretend we're an entirely new person. We don't know anything about this. We were trying to invade that army base over there. Let's just ignore the fact for now that you can walk around the side. So yes, we come up with like, oh, it's just a fence. We can sneak under it maybe. And yeah, let's see. Oh no. Oh no. I've been, I've been electrified. Let's see. Let's see if I can get through here. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh, oh, I got to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't meant to happen. I, I didn't. Um, I didn't know you could get damage boost <laughs> uh, for this. So, oh yeah, let's just let's try and keep going, shall we? Uh, yeah, there we go. Slain by barbed wire. I think that despite that not really working well, we can count that as a partial success. We stopped the person from getting into our secret base and yes so moving on to the next defense uh, back I've done some thinking and I thought what if I don't know I may, this may this may not have been done in real life too much but what if we had spikes that spring up from the ground when you step over a trip or something like that? that that would be pretty cool wouldn't it I think we can do that. I've thought an idea that might just work if you just hear me out here. We we will need command block, but that's that's not really an issue here. We're in creative, so what we can do is we can get some end rods, and we can I figured we could have these underneath the ground on pistons or something, and then when someone steps over a tripwire, which could be here or something, then the ground disappears, the end rods come up, and they damage you, which would be a pretty cool thing. So. I'm gonna get straight into building that. Okay, so I have got the grass coming and then grass going mechanism working. Let me just cover over that redstone with some carpet. It may not be the most convincing, but I'm sure anyone trying to get in here is kind of derpy since they'd 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 probably think twice before going up against my epic traps, but. I guess that'll I guess that'll give them a signal for anyone who has a two brain cells to turn around before they get destroyed by my spikes. So I have got this little section working like that. As as ah okay, I think I I think I know what happened though. I created a redstone. <laughs> I created a redstone circuit just by clicking that little placing that thing there and therefore creating an infinite chain of blocks which is not it's not what I desired to create so we can fix that by doing this and put that there and that there okay so what I was trying to show you is that we can do that we can see that the pistons will extend and then we come off and they retract and the blocks reappear so all I've got to do now is get the placement of the end rods in okay I have whipped up the end rods and I've also got a command so that if you're in the same block as an end rod you will get damaged <laughs> I guess that's the only way to say it so effectively spiking you because they haven't added that feature in Minecraft which kind of makes a bit of sense so we do this and then you can see the end rods come up from the floor and then retract back in again so we put ourselves in survival that's not that's not survival here we go we put ourselves in survival and then try and run over this hopefully that that did not work did i go, did i go over it too quickly huh. Huh. that uh 
Okay, let me, let me just try and fix it. Okay, I've found the problem, I think. Uh, so then if now, if we go back into survival, run over the pressure plate, and then, yes, you can see it does a decent amount of damage there. We run over and the spikes come and hit us from the ground. Whew. I mean, it does say pulled by magic there, but we'll, we'll ignore that fact, isn't it? So I think, I think this defense counts as a complete success, because that is what as thought of and then damages you like that. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Spikes coming from the floor and killing you. Yeah. Woo. As well as our barbed wire. I think this makes for a pretty effective defense so far. Except my barbed wire is escaping. Oh no. Oh well. Well, I guess that's on to the next defense, I think. Okay, I'm back. It's a new day. And I'm excited to get working on new construction. So, as you can see, the first thing I've done is changed out all the trapdoors for spruce slabs because they didn't really work as well last time. So now the fish will might not be able to get out, and that's all working fine. And I've just realised that they can probably still jump over the top. So I'm just gonna put some spruce slabs over the top here. There we go. Okay, so now. If we put ourselves in survival mode, you will see that we try to get through it, and even when there's spruce slabs there, we still get poisoned by those fish, which works fine, and you can see that none of them are getting out, and our electric fence is working flawlessly, or barbed wire, whatever you want to call it. It's probably, I just realised it's probably more like an electric fence, but you can see, there we go, we died, oh, I think, <laughs> oh, oh, so you still got out, oh, you still want to get out, do you? Oh, well. I guess that's a shame, I guess you're just going to have to die then, huh? Hmm, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. Anyway, so you can see our spike trap is working flawlessly as it did before. And the thing I wanted to work on today is a laser tower. We may be getting into a bit more sci-fi territory here, but I think that we can still do this because it's still sort of kind of realistic. So let's get into that right now. So, what I was thinking for this is that we get some end crystals, and we have some guardians here as well, and then we, if we put the end crystal in on that obsidian, you can see that it almost looks some sort of laser tower, so we can have these, and then it will sort of look like a laser. I don't, I don't know. Let me, just let me get into building this. I think that might just be enough guardians. Oh, God, no, it's hanging. <laughs> It'll probably... Probably be a good idea to turn my hostile creatures off. Just now, there we go. Nice. So, if we grab ourselves an invisibility potion, and then we'll see what it looks like. And now we've got our potion of invisibility. Splash it on those guardians, and you can see that we have a nice laser tower structure there with no guardians in the way. Actually, it'll probably be better to do a command. So we give at E type equals guardian. Oh, spelled that wrong. Guardian and give them invisibility it's just so it's easier or last for longer but if you are in survival then it will work just with the potion so let's just give them that and now you can see all the particles are gone perfect so if we okay. now go in survival oh. oh there we go look at those lasers coming out of the tower and inevitably damaging us i think this has worked really effectively so yeah i think i might die Rather quickly when these start going purple, and yeah, there we go. That is a lot of damage, and you can see slain by guardian. I should probably change that to laser tower, but yeah, that works really well. So as you can see, yeah, the lasers come through and then do us a decent amount of damage. So I'll get on changing that to laser tower, maybe make it look better, and copying them a bit around because you can never deal with too many laser towers, can you? So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so we have all of our guardians over here as you can see they're all renamed laser towers You can see there and we also have three of them So let me just give them all invisibility because it's it doesn't it doesn't look very good when they're like that That's at E type equals guardian There we go Invisibility and then many many seconds. What's the maximum? There we go. One and true. That just hides the particles so you can't see it like you do with potions. So there we go. So let's just run through our obstacle course so far. So number one is the barbed wire slash electric fence. It's probably more like an electric fence when I think about it. But as you can see, we run up and it hits you back as you can see there. We also have 
the spike trap. Oh, the laser tower's going through there. That's nice long range there. So we have the spike trap, which is over here. Get us down to half a heart, and you can see the laser tower's working properly. But I think if we go under here, yeah, the laser towers can't reach us. But you know, those two ones aren't doing very good. But this one's doing well, yeah. So I think what I'll do is I'll lower these two towers down. And yeah, I think I'll just lower them down, and I'll just let this one kill me for this so yeah it can get me from reasonably low down so i'll do the same with those and then just let this kill me and yeah killed by laser tower using magic so i will check back in when i've done all that see you so now let's just go through all of the defenses we have so we have the barbed wire over there and i've done the laser towers so our first defense is the barbed wire slash electric fence. It looks more like an electric fence when you come to think about it, so you've got that. We go around and we have the spike trap, which does a lot of damage, and you can see now that all laser towers are working well, and I don't think there's actually any place where you can escape their gaze, so eventually they will start doing damage. I mean, you could just go around here, but that's sort of going around the edge, which we're not really now. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that we have barbed wire now. I mean, you can just jump over it, but it's it's more aesthetic. So, so yeah, and you can see the laser towers working long range there. So let me just say that all of these defenses don't have to work especially well. It's just sort of be kind of realistic, you know. So I'm not having anything here you wouldn't have in real life or sci-fi movies for that matter. So moving on to the next defense. So the next defense comes from a real life strategy. So in the Berlin Wall, in the, don't worry, this history lesson won't last long. In the Berlin Wall, when it was being, well, when it was being used, they used auto firing mechanisms that when you trigger a tripwire, it will actually like trigger an auto firing mechanism somewhere down the line. And I think we can recreate that in Minecraft using some sort of auto firing mechanism with some tripwire so i'll have a little think and then once i've done that i'll tell you and i'll see you then okay so i've had an idea that we could use some string and tripwire which could be used for this and i think we'll just stick with dispensers and arrows because we're trying to keep these fairly survival friendly we only use command blocks when we have to so just to, just to make it easier for when you're building in survival so i think that it will probably be best so we can get our string from over here by pick blocking that and then getting ourselves a dispenser so it can shoot the arrows out and this is going to be a machine gun setup so we're going to have to do it so you know how most normal boring of these arrow things just shoot you once but this is the oogly boogly channel and we have to go a bit better than that so let me just set up a quick demo for you over here so as you can see we have two dispensers and then tripwire and then string in the middle so this is the traditional setup and then you fill those with arrows and it's just and yeah it's just it's not good enough it's not good enough we walk over it it hits you twice and that's it it does a decent amount of damage but not enough so i think we need to make a machine gun mechanism which rapid fires them while you are stepping on that pressure plate. So, that's what we're going to build. Okay, so I think I've got a design that works. So let's just get an observer. Plop a redstone down there. Put a piston here. Observer there. No, yeah, it's facing... Yeah, facing... No, face the right way. There we go. And now if we place one up there, it should work, but... After we filled it with arrows, of course, which we're going to do now. So we just get the arrows, lock them in there, and now it turns out that design didn't work. So I think I've found up with a better one if we come here and then go there. The problem was that the tripwire hook was directly powering the dispenser, so it couldn't be like machine gun because it would just be constantly powered. So let's just fill the dispenser with arrows, and now it should work. There we go, the arrows are flying over just like that ow and it's staying pressed because all of the arrows are going on the tripwire that is a problem so i think what we can do to fix this is maybe like move i guess we could move the tripwire over a bit <laughs> yeah i guess we can do that so let's get our wand let's just ploop that and then ploop I said 
clip that. There we go. So now we've got that copied. Let's cut it and then paste it. Let's go two bots away just to make sure that it doesn't do it. So we have that now. And then let's just redirect this tripwire. Put it back here. Pick book that string. Fill it back up again and we should be good to go once we put the redstone which will go no that doesn't work that doesn't work there we go like that so now that should work and then when we go off it will stop firing perfect so i'll just copy this over to the other side then i'll be back okay so both sides are now done and as you can see that when we go get out of my way grass you are spoiling my demonstration. I'm just trying to do a little thing and you're just there. Why'd you have to be there, grass? Why'd you do this to me? Anyway, now that's cut back the grass a little bit. You can see that when we go on the tripwire, the dispensers will start automatically machine gun firing. And these, ooh, what? These arrows are doing a, doing a little dance around my head. Oh, no. Hmm, what were they doing that for? What? Oh, well, uh, strange phenomenon. I want to do it again. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Y you're not gonna do it again? Oh. No, you're not gonna do it again. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. I wanna see it. Do it again. Oh, they're just bouncing off me. They're just bouncing off me. What is this? This is just a. Uh, no. Hmm. Strange phenomenon. Oh, well. So, what I was going to do was. Actually, no. I guess it'll probably work if I did a command block which killed all the arrows in the ground. Yeah, I think there's a tag for that, so I'll just do that. Pick block on one of these command blocks over there, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think this should work. We've got a command which kills all the arrows in the ground, and you can see that, yes, once the arrows hit the ground, they are disappearing. Perfect, that works, and now it's raining. Why do you have to rain when I come when I'm recording? What are you doing? So, oh, okay, I'll check back when it's less rainy and more sunny. Okay, the weather has cleared up, so now I can record again. So, what I was going to say is that we have the arrows all working. So, we got, yeah, we got it, we got us working, and the arrows will now die when they hit the ground. So, we got laser tiles, we got a spike trap, and we've got the electric fence over here, it's all barbed wire, whatever you want to call it. So, what do we do next? So, I've been thinking, and I think maybe, maybe we could do a little fire. Yes, fire, that is what we're going to do. So, actually, yeah, because yeah, that will work, because in real life and in Minecraft, we can have fire. So, I guess we can start doing that. So, would we have campfires, or would we have flint and steel? That is the question. Hmm... Why not? Why not? Why not have both, actually? Because, yeah, it's my, you, in real life you may not do this because it's not very efficient, but it's Minecraft, and you can do what we want. So, instead of doing... what I, Actually, no, what about another idea? Instead of just doing boring old fires, not much redstone there, a bit boring, even though it's still a good defence, I think what we could do is sparks coming off the fire. Like fire charges, um, to say bluntly but imagine it is sparks coming off the fire they, they just they just might set you on fire you know just just a little sparks you know yeah it's not it's not much so yeah i think i'll get into building that and then i'll see you when i am done with my little sparks and my fire so okay finally with a lot of fiddling the work is done and this fire is now spread across and as you see as we go on the trip wire you will see that we emit just a few sparks just going going there yeah just a bit of sparks no, nothing really that impressive i'm sure i'm sure it won't damage you that much i'm sure you'll be fine don't worry about it oh yeah so I think this is pretty solid, and even after the fireballs have stopped going, you still have to get over the fire, so yeah, it's pretty... Well, I think all in all, these defences are pretty secure, and I think nobody could even escape them. Actually, maybe someone...
maybe learn something along the way. And yeah, I guess um, I'll put the word down there for this in the description. And yeah. Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you do like this kind of video, I could do it more. If you like it, leave a comment. Remember, if you like it, it's much more likely for me to do that video again. Because I do what the audience wants. So yes, if you don't want to see the style of video again, like, comment if you really enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe. But, see ya!